It's beginning to look a lot like a Christmas tree shaped PCB. Yeah, I think that's enough of that. So this is the PCB3, or if you pronounce it how I normally would, it would be PCB3. And it has 12 reverse mounted LEDs. So that's where they're mounted this side of the board, but they're actually facing inwards towards the PCB. And there's no silk screen or there's no solder mask there, so it diffuses through the actual F or 4 material of the PCB. And all these LEDs are Charlie plexed and being run off in a tiny 13. And they're all being powered by a coin cell battery that also acts as a kickstand. Another feature that it has is you can change the modes on it. So at the moment it's on a double blink. But it has a button here at the back that if I hold down, you'll see it'll light up a single LED. And each one of these LEDs represents a different mode. So this one here is just static on. So it's a bit dimmer than the flashing because it's PW. It's kind of doing a software PWM on all of them. So it's only running one twelfth of the time on. Um, yeah, and it also has a switch if you want to turn off the power. And... Uh, runs for about a day off a single coin cell and I mean a, a full 24 hours so it's uh, pretty good. I had planned to cover more in this video like talk about how to do the reverse mounting LEDs and also how to program the Atiny 13 but I just plain ran out of time because the last day for postage for these PCBs to some countries is the 7th of December which is tomorrow so yeah I'm definitely leaving it a little bit late. But uh, check the Tindy store if you are interested because I leave a link to when are the last postage dates for every country. So if you're still interested in getting one, it should be able to get to you in time, hopefully. And yeah, so it comes in kit form. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a challenge in terms of soldering. Uh, the LEDs are 0603 and they are mounted upside down. It was my first time soldering 0603 and it, it wasn't as hard as you think it would be. Um, even the fact that they were upside down, it wasn't too bad. Just getting them flat was the biggest challenge. Um, also, I include a lot of spare LEDs in it. So there's only 12 needed, but I include 22, I think. So you don't need to be worried about losing them. Or even if one gets messed up, you can just sacrifice it. There's no... No need wasting time over a spare LED, so yeah. I'll leave a link to this Hackster.io uh, article. In it I talk about different modes that the tree has, and also I have a small write-up about designing the PCB and the reverse mounting LEDs, and then also how to program the AtTiny. So I'm just using the AtTiny85 programmer I built in a previous video. Um, except I'm using it with the Atiny 13 software. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys think this is interesting. If there's anything that you want me to cover on this project in more detail in a future video, there's no issues with that whatsoever. I'd love to go into it. And uh, if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. And other than that, thanks a lot. Talk to you again.